Hey everyone, welcome to What's on my bookshelf. In today's video, I'm going to share five retellings that I think are worth reading. Without any further ado, let me begin. Whether it is the magical tale of Beauty and the Beast or even a well-loved Jane Austen novel, like for example, Pride and Prejudice, classic stories like these whisk us away to a magical land and inspire a lifetime of reading. In contemporary retellings, authors reimagine our favorite legends and heroes in a new and exciting stories. But there are a lot of fairy tale retellings out there. So how and with along with that there comes multiple opinions as well. So which retelling is actually worth our time? That is actually worth this shelf space. Fear not, for in this video I bring you five retellings that I think are worth the hype or worth the read. Number one, the hazel wood is a twisted take on a classic fairy tale of Alice in the Wonderland. If you like psychological horror mixed with a bit of suspense and a protagonist who is spiky and probably has some anger issues as well, then this book is for you. Get ready to be lost in the world of awe and wonder as the author steers you into a wonderland as Alice herself discovers this insidiously beautiful world for the first time. In this story, she, Alice, she runs off to a place called Hinterland because her mother has been abducted to save her. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. But I don't think this is meant for those people who do not like real world escapism. But definitely do give this book a try. Number two, Enchantment. Enchantment is a beautiful but almost like a brutal retelling of the Sleeping Beauty. If you like to know what happens after the happily ever after, I mean, all fairy tales end with a happily ever after and they lived happily ever after. So if you like to know what happens after that, if you like to know what happens once they are happily married, you also like time traveling, you enjoy Russian folklore, which also has a good measure of references to gods thrown in as well, then get ready to be swept off by Ivan and Katerina as they fumble with each other's worlds. This book also has complex characters and a rich narrative as well also mixed with or interspersed with good humor i definitely suggest you not to miss this one if you love fantasy worlds number three my all-time favorite spin the dawn i always recommend this but it is also one of my favorite retellings as well one of my favorite disney princesses includes mulan and spin the dawn is a clever and heartwarming story and retelling of Mulan. If you like high doses of fashion and a hearty banter between the two leads, then this book is for you. Basically, it has epic adventure and romance fit into this very small bottle. Follow Maya and Eden. If you like cute and magically enchanted world where true love means sacrifice. Number four. A Curse So Dark and Lonely Now this book is the retelling of the classic story Beauty and the Beast No doubt this one has the most number of retellings ever for a fairy tale And this book also follows a similar plotline as well Meet Ren, the prince who has been caught in the curse for ages and is waiting for true love to break him free from this curse Whereas Harper, she's from New York she suffers from a disability, cerebral palsy and due to certain circumstances, she is whisked away to this magical land where Ren lives. But even as she, but once she enters this world, her disadvantage does not hold her back as she fights with everything she has against the injustice that is happening to her. I mean, getting abducted, even for a reason, even for the fairy tale reason doesn't mean that, oh yes, I cannot wait to fall in love with you, right? So she is not someone who is just meekly sitting there and waiting to fall in love with the prince. And neither is she interested in it. It is the world building and the storytelling that makes this retelling a unique one, which you will also love reading. The only thing that I think is a con as such is that it is a trilogy. I think uh, I think it could have been better as a standalone. The fifth one is A Forest of Thousand Lanterns. A Forest of Thousand Lanterns follows the retelling of the classic fairy tale Snow White. Except here we get to know the 
story of the evil queen that's right we get to see the making of a villain here and i don't think it can get any more exciting than this right this one too is also set in asia just like spin the dawn is which infuses rich asian culture and folklore giving it an original take read this if you like a dark retelling and the story of an anti-hero so there you go so these are my five retellings that i think are worth reading or worth the hype really do let me know in the comment section if you have read any of these books that i have recommended and if you have which one did you like the most if you haven't which book do you plan to read first so i hope you have enjoyed this video i will meet you in another one till then stay safe take care love you bye